You know when we are going to become immortal being? Probably in the next few decades by 2045. There was a guy in at Google, a director of engineering in Google. Uh, not a big deal. So his name is Ray Coswell and he predicted that by that time we will create a super intelligent of computer that will suppress the human intelligence. We already have machine that can beat humans at chest. The only reason why we are still mortal was because we are too dumb to find out how to extend our life forever. But if we have a supercomputer that can expand our consciousness by multifold, like 10 times or 100 of times, then we will be able to figure out this like very quickly. Yeah, that's right. We create something smarter than us to help us invent something that we cannot have invent. By that time, we will be able to replace our body part with organs, new organs that we grow on pig. And we will be able to use 3D computer to print organs or brain or a new body for us to replace with. And we can even print our face so that we don't have to go to do surgery to keep to stay young and we can just print a new face every few years yeah and but when we have immortality those who are still already age 99 would be suck because they will stay at 99 forever and those who become eternal being at 25 would be 25 forever not exactly, because when you become age 99 and immortal, you will stay old for maybe 50 years. Before they discover how to reverse your age, they will discover yet more technology to not only extend your life to forever, but also make you strong and young and forever beautiful. You will be like Edward and Bella in Twilight. Yeah, they make weird face and, 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 and breathe by the mouth but according to the movie, the story, they were forever beautiful and the rich and young will stay rich and young forever and when you become age 150 dating like say uh, 18 years old no one will say you're creepy just like no one will say Edward creepy because you look young and people are superficial all you need is just look the part and then you can date whoever you want yeah girl who have this immortality will be able to party hundreds of years imagine you have like dozens of children maybe hundreds of them and then they make children and make more children until you have your own town and your own city make up entirely of your offspring and they don't even recognize you so when you go out and party and you might accidentally partying with your direct offspring maybe we will have to create a phone apps that like give us signal when we are approaching our our direct offspring so that we don't accidentally partying with our offspring in the future because we are will be young forever like humans will be able to wirelessly connect to a supercomputer and borrow their computing power that means if i want to think deep thought or make a new video i can just connect my brain wirelessly to the super computer in my room and then i'll be able to do this in one tick and i'll be so smart that i can figure out all the math without going to school and people who hate math will be able to do it like just like that the problem with eternity is you can become a tyrant, a dictator for eternity too. Like imagine some of our worst dictator on earth became an immortal. They, that means they will have more years to accumulate power and knowledge and they will be able to enslave people for generations and keep them mortal. And there will be a huge gap. Just like in the past when people discover agriculture, that is when the hunter-gatherer society die and become nations. 
And once we have nation, we have king, we have nobility, we have oppression, and then the rest of the people become peasants, and the rich and powerful can, can get any hot girl they want from their own land. And they also own slaves and everything. When there were industrial revolution, a lot of people didn't catch up with the technology, only a handful of people know and adopt the technology and become so powerful everybody else were just worker or indentured servant or like illiterate uh, farmer peasant still they are, are simply line worker and everything so and then there were revolution and communism and things got even worse so with immortality I, I, I what I can see is that there will be a huge gap between the powerful and the powerless, the rich and the poor. So when that happens, will you be able to adopt the te that technology and jump on the wagon? Okay, does that mean the computer that we create will actually let us live forever? Or according to the super intelligent, they figure maybe they can do better without humans? It's just like when you create a hot girl, and doesn't mean she would fall in love with you. That's only mean maybe she would also use the same method to create a hot guy and then run away with him and leave you to dry. By that time, we will also be able to create Skynet and Matrix, assuming they are benevolent to human being. When that happens, we can live in a Matrix virtual reality that is indistinguishable with the real reality and we will be, we'll be able to fulfill all kind of fantasy inside that virtual reality and just send other beings to um, like our creation to explore the space and invent more stuff for us because we are not the smartest being anymore we create a supercomputer and the supercomputer will be able to create their own race like they can even legitimately turn goldfish into sentimental in powerful being Okay, listen, this is how it works. If we can plug in our brain to a supercomputer and borrow the computing power wirelessly, this computer can also be plugged into say monkey or goldfish. And once the goldfish get connected to this super intelligent like uh, extension, frontal cortex extension, so when the primitive humans develop our forehead, we suddenly invent technology and language and tools and community and imagine what goldfish can do if we lend them our computing power like make them 10 times smarter and also give them like cyborg body so they don't have to live in water anymore and finally they can see how they look like when they cry without the water submerging them and not only are they smarter and they don't need to live in the same body and habitat anymore, they can actually, we can actually give them hands to invent their own stuff. So goldfish, monkey, dog, whatever, they can start communicating with us in our own language because they've got smarter, remember? And, and if they misbehave, we just plug out the computer from the brain so they become like, like dumb again, right? So, with that supercomputer, not only can they communicate with us, we can also send them to space to, to do the mission for us, like to Mars, to outside the universe, to, to do the like, exploration. If we can turn ourselves immortal, we can also turn our goldfish, like Johnny, make him, make him immortal, make him smart, give him like tool, send them to space to explore and find a habitable planet for us and while, while we live in a matrix enjoying our fantasy so this would be might be our future hello i'm sk i'm gonna fuck their wife what? asian big style okay come here could you promise me that if, if i don't die in the surgery